Many integrated optics components are suitable for simulating using VARFDTD. Some examples that can be simulated using VARFDTD are star couplers, waveguide tapers, MMI couplers, ring modulators, and soliton propagation. These examples can be found in our online knowledge base, and we will introduce each of the examples and the types of results that can be obtained later on in the examples section of the course. It's important to be able to recognize when the VARFDTD method does not work well. These are some example cases. Fiber optics cannot be simulated since the structure is not planar. Structures with graded refractive index in the x or y directions cannot be simulated since smoothly varying refractive index within the propagation plane, which is the xy plane, is not supported. Although, if the refractive index is graded along the z dimension, this can be supported. Waveguides with sloped sidewalls also cannot be simulated as the structure cross-section is smoothly varying in the propagation plane. Grading couplers which couple light into or out of the xy plane in the vertical direction cannot be simulated since the light should be traveling in plane. Nanoparticles which scatter light in three dimensions cannot be simulated for the same reason that the method does not support light propagating out of the xy plane. Finally, grid attributes such as permittivity rotation, NP density, or temperature grid attributes imported from device simulations are also not supported. In the following section, we will work through the process of simulating a ring resonator device using VARFDTD.